How much will SSI get now? Supplemental Security Income. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video. So let's get right into it. I know in this video, we're specifically talking about SSI, Supplemental Security Income. Now, just a few videos back, I was out in a dedicated video talking about Social Security Retirement, Disability, SSDI, Survivors, and of course, Spousal Benefits in that video. But in this one, we're only talking about SSI and the roughly eight million beneficiaries who receive checks from this very important program each and every month. Now, again, I'm also following up to another video that I had out recently talking about some projections that have recently been released and how much this projection would actually translate into as far as a raise to your SSI benefit. So let's get into it as we have a lot to talk about here and talk through all the details as far as how much more money this would result into your monthly checks as an SSI beneficiary. Let's get right into it. However, really quickly before we do, thanks so much for joining me. If you're enjoying this video so far and you want more like it, please make sure to subscribe right down below the video. It's totally free to do so. And I'm here for you every single day, no matter what, watching the latest details, hitting the wire, doing the research and breaking it down into these short videos to help you out in any way that I possibly can by keeping you updated. And of course, pointing out anything out there right now that may impact you, your money, your benefits, your lifestyle, your bank account. And of course, anything popping up, you can possibly grab and or take advantage of as a low income or fixed income beneficiary. So again, you got to stick together through this time. It's a very busy one out there. Things are changing rapidly. And again, I truly want to be here as any way that I can be. That's my promise. And as always, I'm sticking to it. All right. Thanks again. Subscribe down below. Let's get into it and talk about SSI checks, the projections that have been released and what this may translate into as far as a raise to your monthly benefit. All right. So again, let me reiterate this really quickly. These are projections. In other words, this is just the best estimates based on the information that has been released. And again, these projections have been coming out a little bit here over the last couple months. And I want to break this down for you because these projections are unfortunately very low based on what is actually going on right now. But again, we got to watch this very closely because you never know what's going to happen here over the coming months as well and how much this actually will translate into as far as what are the real numbers going to be. But either way, we probably want to watch this closely just to get an idea of what's going on here as this will directly impact your monthly checks as an SSI beneficiary. All right, so right now, 2023, the maximum SSI benefit is $914. You know that, obviously, right? But here's the thing. I want to point that out because that is the baseline we're going to calculate from. Now, if you saw that video as of recently, I was out in that video talking about the latest projections. Now, here's what's interesting. About a month, maybe a month and a half or so ago, some other projections came out as well. And in that uh, projection, and in that video about a month or a month and a half ago, I said... The projections at that time were suggesting a 3% COLA next year in 2024. Now, again, I totally understand. We are still a long, long time for right now from 2024. I get it. We're a long time out from right now. However, we got to still watch this stuff closely, right? The months that are very important to determine how much the COLA will be are rapidly approaching. Therefore, we probably want to pay attention to this, right? However, that is what they were saying about a month to month and a half ago. However, the latest projections are now coming out saying, well, we're looking at about a 2% COLA. A 2% COLA? Where are you getting these numbers? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's exactly what I expressed the other day in that other video as well as I was saying, what are you talking about? A 2% COLA? Inflation is still 6%. What are we looking at here? Because I think there's a major disconnect between actual real inflation, which actually pegs what the COLA is, and for these projections coming out saying, well, we're looking at about 2%. 2%? I guess I'm really confused. I'm <laughs> not really sure where these numbers are coming from, but these are the, these are the projections that are out there. So... These are the numbers that we're going to work with right now. And again, I want to point out exactly what this looks like in dollars and cents, okay? So let's talk through that right now, and then we'll get into the details about this a little bit further. All right, so again, the maximum benefit right now, $914. Let's just apply just for all practical purposes here so we can see real dollars in this for an SSI beneficiary, okay? Assuming somebody is getting the maximum benefit of $914. Applying a 2% COLA, I mean, seriously, 2%? You've got to be kidding me right now. But anyway, that's what they're saying. So let's just roll with it for a minute and be thankful that this is just a projection, that this is not the official number announced by Social Security yet, right? That's coming in October. We'll watch for that one. That's still a long time out from right now. But applying a 2% COLA would give an $18 per month raise. Nine, $914 with a 2% uh, COLA applied would only be 19, sorry, 
$18 a month, okay? That would take the maximum benefit from 914 right now up to $932. That's nuts, right? That That is like so low. But let me ask you this much really quickly, okay? I think we can all probably agree with this, but let's just use this as an example. Have your monthly expenses, as in you're buying the same things that you bought a year ago, you know, uh, you know, nine months ago, 10 months ago, whatever, six months ago, are the things that you're buying today costing you more than $18 a month? And I'm saying you're buying the same food items, you're buying the same gas for your car, you're buying the same clothes, you're paying the same utility bills, the electricity, the gas bill, the phone bill, all of these things. Are all of these adding up to more than $18 a month more than what you were paying, say, six months, nine months, 10 months, 12 months ago? I think the simple answer is yes, right? So again, is this cost of living adjustment really accurate? I think we can all probably agree, no, not even close, right? Many people are either coming out of pocket more by $18 more per month as an SSI beneficiary or cutting back on expenses because here's that, it's, uh, that's what it comes down to, is either you come out of pocket more or you cut back because that's really the only options for a lot of people, right? Is either pay more and essentially, you know, either dig into savings or spend more of the check or possibly uh, go into debt, which I really hope that's not the case for people because we know right now debt is getting very expensive as the Federal Reserve continues raising interest rates, right? But again, we can talk about all that in a separate video, but this is what the projections are now showing, okay? So let's obviously hope that the projections are very wrong, and let's hope that this COLA actually comes in more in line with the maybe five, well, what I probably should say is about four to six percent would be probably a little bit more realistic based on what is really going on right now. But realistically, let's just be real again. Is inflation more like, I don't know, seven to nine to 10% right now on the real things that we're actually buying? I think we can all probably agree the answer is yes, right? Yeah, that's what's really going on. Even though the inflation numbers are coming in showing, oh, we're still sitting at about 6%. Well, that's 6% averaged out across a basket of goods across the entire economy, right? That's kind of an averaged number right now. However, when we look at food, for example, food is still up 10 plus percent. So, you know, I don't know, but it seems to me like most everybody's probably buying food these days, right? So anyway, these are the numbers. I want to break this down for you so you can clearly see what this would actually translate into as an SSI beneficiary receiving the maximum at $914. A 2% COLA is number one, an insult. That's number one. And number two, simply not enough. It's an $18 raise per month, which by the way, that translates into, uh, what is that? Um, uh, 200, I'm trying to do the math, $216, I think that's right. $216 a month, uh, sorry, a year. That's not a month, that's a year. $216 a year more. Whoa, wow, now we're really cooking with gas. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, obviously I'm being sarcastic. That is not much, okay? $216 a year is honestly, like I said, that's just a plain old insult to people living on a fixed income who are struggling right now and looking for additional uh, resources and money. So anyway, these are what the numbers are showing. Now, one more thing that we have to point out as well, and everybody's very aware of this, but let me just point this out really quickly, which is the reduction of SNAP benefits. Oh yeah, we gotta take that into consideration as well, right? So that is something else that comes in, even though they're, they're giving a little bit extra money because of the COLA and of course, you know, because of the cost of living and things are rising in prices, they don't take into consideration how much that money is taken away by reduction of SNAP benefits because income has increased. Did they ever take that into consideration? If they actually calculated that back in, uh, raises would be higher. But again, they never calculate that, right? So net-net on an annualized basis, most beneficiaries are actually behind each and every year because of the COLA, uh, basically reducing other expense, or uh, sorry, reducing other assistance like SNAP benefits. And then of course, price is actually rising. Net-net, most beneficiaries fall behind. But again, I don't need to sit here and preach to the choir. I think we all recognize this, right? We all know this. This is the same thing that happens every single year. Anyway, I don't want to drag this video out forever, but again, I want to give you some real numbers behind this so you can clearly see what a 2% COLA would actually be. It's virtually nothing, right? It's not much. $18. Wow. That's really going to put some food on the table. You know what I mean? So... 
Anyway, we got to continue watching all this very closely. Hopefully they come to their senses here and hopefully these numbers actually shake out to be more than that. Uh, but again, we also don't want to wish for more inflation. We definitely do not want that these days. Uh, but anyway, hope this one helps you. Again, please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media. Go back and check out any of the other thousands upon thousands of videos here on the channel. Thanks again for your support. Truly appreciate it. Enjoy your day and catch you again later.